Chicago Bears win another game this season. Let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Fast Sports all back at it with another video talking. Of course, my NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, hit the big red subscribe button. Season long Bears coverage on this channel. You don't want to miss out. Stay locked. Stay tuned. Hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. All right, so let's get into it, people. So the bye week is here. There is no game this week. The Chicago Bears finally, after it feels like forever, get a bye week. A week 14 bye week. I feel like we could, you could, we could have used a bye week four weeks ago. But lo and behold, we have a bye week. And so I thought it was an appropriate time to ask. Take a look at the rest of the season schedule. Will the Bears even win another game this year? Now, let me start by saying this. The Bears winning another game this year, not winning, really doesn't affect my thoughts on this team because at this point, we know what the season is and we know what this team is, right? And we know at this point, the season's over in terms of us doing anything significant, the playoffs, anything like that. And we also know that we are looking towards next year and the draft. So the Bears losing out, if that is what happens, wouldn't be a bad thing. We know that because they would potentially hold the number two overall pick, potentially, or top three pick if that happened. So taking a look at the rest of their schedule, they've got a tough one here, people. Right out the bye, you play the team with the best record in football, the Philadelphia Eagles, uh, at home. Then you take on the Buffalo Bills, who are a Super Bowl contender. Then you take on the surging Detroit Lions at Detroit. And then you close out the season against the top seat, the top team in your division, the Minnesota Vikings, who are certainly going to make the playoffs. So you literally have three of your last four games against uh, playoff teams and potential Super Bowl contenders. I think it's very straightforward to say the Bears are losing at least three out of their next four. Now, people might say that Minnesota game in, in Week 18, they could set out their stars and the Bears could win that game. I would tell you that I don't think that happens because Minnesota is in kind of gridlock with uh, Philadelphia to get that top spot. It's still possible for Minnesota to get that number one seed. I think Philly gets it, but it's possible. So I think Minnesota fights with Philly till the very end for that number one seed in the NFC because you get a home field advantage from it. And so I think Minnesota plays their starters. Maybe they don't play them the entire game, but I think they play them. And so three out of the those four games, I think those are losses. You're not beating Philly, you're not beating Buffalo, and you're not beating Minnesota. And by the way, all three of those teams have something to play for. Like I said, Philly and Minnesota with the number one seed and Buffalo for their division and seeding as well. So now we talk about Detroit. You play Detroit at Detroit. Well, Detroit is a better team right now than Chicago. They're playing better. They've got better playmakers. They've got more talent. They don't have a better quarterback, but they have a good, solid team. And Dan Campbell finally seems to have this team turn the corner. And so you take a look at that game, and it's very realistic to see the Bears losing this game at Detroit. Right? And so to me, I think the Bears don't win another game this year. And I think they finished the year at, and I'm writing it down <laughs> as we speak, I think they finished the year at 3-14, and 14, all right? And if it wasn't for the Houston Texans, that would be the worst record in football, but I don't think the Houston Texans win another game, and so they will have the worst record. The Bears will probably have the second. Now, there are some teams where if they finish with the same record as the Bears, the tiebreakers might go to them. But yeah, I don't think the Bears win another game this year, people, especially with the schedule. And you know what? I'm happy about it in this aspect. It's better that we get a higher draft pick than some meaningless wins in December when the season's over. So, yeah, I don't see any more wins on the calendar for the Chicago Bears. They've lost six straight games, and I think the season ends with us losing 10 straight. But it's okay because, like I said, I'm already looking towards the future. I'm already looking towards the draft and a top three overall pick. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below, as always. Thanks for watching.